Joker's bringing me. He's got a bucket. 8.30 at night, ready for bed. Like a bird on a tree. Got some dinner. What do you got? How many? Oh no. Let's go see what you brought me. Are they all filleted already? No. Do I have to fillet these? Oh Lord. We've got some fish. All right. Nice, buddy. At least we got a meal. We got a meal. All right, guys, we're gonna do this real fast, down and dirty. Was not expecting to clean fish tonight, but I know Kevin's been wanting some white perch for fish sticks, so that's what we're gonna do. He's got a bunch of them here, maybe 10 or so, and a full am. Probably seen me do this method with trout. Lay down one side, right to the tail. Right before you get to the tail, you stop and you flip it over because we're going boneless here. I like to clean the blood off right away. I don't like any blood sitting on the meat. It's just me. Other side, flip down to the bone, turn the knife, ride that backbone down towards the tail. Stop short of the tail, flip, take that piece off. White perch is my favorite eating fish, so. I'm not that unhappy. Pretty happy I had some fish. Let's see if I turn the light on. Hopefully you guys can see. Rib cage. They got a rib cage just like a trout. Work the knife under it and tilt it up so you're not wasting any meat. You're getting just those bones out of there. You can see right through them. And what you got is a boneless fillet. A little strip like that. Now there are um, a couple bones just like a trout, the pin bones. So if you're picky, if you're deep frying them, I leave them in. Um, if we're going through, if we're gonna air fry them, which I think we're gonna air fry, I take them out. So I just took them out. That's one side of the fish. So you got two fish sticks right there. You get more meat out of these little fish than you think. Where we fish for them, or where Kevin fished for him. I went to the gym tonight with uh, Lyle and Kristen took Kev up to the, the uh, reservoir. And it's a bunch of, uh, bunch of folks from all different countries that don't speak English. And they fill buckets of them up there. Buckets and buckets of them. For good reason, they are tasty. Now I'm sure they eat them pretty much whole skin and Bones, I've seen that done, fried up whole. But we'll show you what these are gonna, what these will look like. So that's just one fish, not too bad. You saw the size of that fish. These are white perch, so they don't get real big. Got the meat packed up. Plenty of meat for three people tomorrow. And we're gonna take the, uh, the leftovers here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. So, one dozen fishies. These are going to be the scraps. We will probably use these heads for uh, catfishing. 
perfect size for some of the smaller channels that we have around here. Uh, Kev already took some rib meat in to feed his turtles. And I'm going to clean this up. And i got to get a shower and get to bed. Uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow at lunchtime for some fish sticks. Peace! All right, guys. I am going to uh, take the white perch. And yes, I'm in my pajamas. It's the way I roll when I work from home. Got the white perch here. I'm going to first just add some salt and pepper in this bag and shake it up. I'm not measuring anything. Kind of going by feel there. Throw it in the bag, just mix it all up. Now, today I'm going to be using um, Washington seafood bread crumbs. This is, uh, this is a breading a lot of people swear by. I've made it once or twice before, not a big fan of it. Um, but I noticed on the back it calls for Crisco fried in Crisco. I've never really done that, so I'm actually going to follow the instructions that they give us on this, and maybe I've just been doing it wrong. Um, typically, I use um, Italian breadcrumbs, that, but I don't have any in the house right now. So this is what we're going to use. I'm going to throw, and again, I usually roll these in with an like egg. Today, I'm not. I'm just going to throw this right all in the bag. I'm on my lunch break. I don't have a lot of time. Just premiered our live video, so I'm actually already over my allotted lunchtime at work. So I hope my boss isn't watching. I don't think she's in the fishing, so I think I'm safe. Looking pretty good there. So I'm going to bring you guys closer so you can see the oil. Not that you really need to see the oil. I'm going to take one drop of water and... I don't think it's hot enough yet. Let that heat up a little bit more and I'll see you in a minute. I think we are ready. Bubbling. I'm going to just drop them all in. Again, I usually just do a couple at a time, but today, already over my allotted 30 minute lunch break. Kids are hungry. I'm just going to throw them all in here. And I'm going to use a strainer when they're done and pull them out of here. Okay, I'm going to use the strainer, make sure they're all under. Looks like they're all under. I'm going to, I guess that's medium heat or so. I mean, it's just bubbling. I dropped a, a little thing of water in there to make sure it's, it's going. Um, I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Might pull it out earlier if it looks like it's done. Now we've got these little fry baskets that work really good. Move the camera. So I just put Reynolds wrap on them. I'm always leaning over. I got to figure out how to make this stand better, but oh well. Um, put Reynolds wrap on it like this, and then we can put the condiments right in there. Just throw the fish in there. We've got ketchup, lemon juice, Tabasco, tartar sauce. That way, whatever the kids want to use, they can just chuck in there. All right, we let it go. We let it go for the full five minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Watch yourself, this is red hot. You can pop in in front of me if you want. So I put a strainer over this bucket and I'm just gonna slowly pour it in there. Just like that. I'll let that sit a minute. Tip this over. See, it's nice and golden brown. That was five minutes, like medium heat. All right, this is what it looks like plated, guys. All three of them. This is from 14 Perch. I think I said 12 last night, but then I found two more. <laughs> so we had 14. Uh, so go ahead and fix them up however you want, boys. 
Of yep. course you got the bigger one, but okay. Yeah. Don't fight. No. I guess the one that doesn't have sauce. Okay. That one didn't have sauce either. Now the sauce. It's gonna do the tartar sauce right on top, apparently. Okay. Come on, then. He likes everything. He's gonna do it all. Do you want anything, Lyle? I want ketchup on yours. Okay, it's very hot. And then uh, tobacco. Tobacco. <laughs> he calls it tobacco. It's Tabasco sauce, hot sauce. Oh my God, I'm so late on my lunch. Okay. Hit it with some ketchup, and then I gotta, I gotta throw some ketchup on my plate, and I gotta get back to work. Let it go, Kev. Let it go. Literally, I'm so late. There you go. Perfect. How's it taste? You gonna give it a taste, Lyle? It's good. You like it? Okay. Steal a dip one in your mix here. Mmm. It's really good. What do you think, Kev? Oh, yeah. Now you wanna do close out? Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and make sure to, I don't know, check out <laughs> the other videos. Yeah.